For a former teacher at the First Baptist Church School, the battery was his last stop. On the night of August 19, 2006, police with the city of Charleston responded to the area of 76 Murray Boulevard in reference to a vehicle blocking traffic and possible gunshots. Officers arrived on scene and located Clifton Harris Jr., slumped over in the driver's seat, shot to death. Harris, a respected history teacher at First Baptist Church School, was known to frequent the battery during the nighttime hours a place notorious for those who felt unable to be themselves in the open. There was a stigma on LGBTQ folks and people who identify as LGBTQ in 2006, and to some extent that still exists. Chase Glenn with the Alliance for Full Acceptance says the stigma for an individual to be out then was difficult. And when you're talking about someone who may or may not have had a faith that really impacted them and the way they, they saw themselves and, and the way they lived their lives. If you also have to put that up against knowing that you may be gay or you may be trans, um, that could be a really scary thing for someone where they might be fearful to be themselves um, for fear that they might lose their job, that they might lose their family and friends. Um, and having that sort of weight can really impact someone. While some stigmas remain, many of those who identify as LGBTQ have found places of acceptance in the community. In 2006, things were different. You know, this was before marriage equality. This was before the Supreme Court ruling that just happened this summer where Title VII was mentioned. And we know that there's some protection around employment discrimination now. That didn't exist in 2006. And just in general, within sort of the cultural lexicon, we were hearing, weren't hearing people talking about LGBTQ identity like we hear today. Despite forward movements in social equality, the investigation into Harris's death remains idle. Investigators are asking those who may have been at the battery in August of 2006 to come forward with any bit of information. And I would hope that if someone felt safe in being able to report that information, that they would come forward and that um, as much as would be possible, their identity could be protected. If you have any information that could help police in this case, call Crime Stoppers at 554-1111. In downtown Charleston, I'm Kate Prestack. Count on two.